Today we look at Job chapter 35, where Elihu challenges Job's understanding of justice. This passage serves as a powerful reminder of the distinction between human perspective and divine justice. Elihu questions Job's claim that righteousness should spare him from suffering. Listen to his words in Job chapter 35, verses 5 through 8. It says, Look up to the sky and see the clouds high above you. If you sin, how does that affect God? Even if you sin again and again, what effect will it have on him? If you are good, is this some great gift to him? What could you possibly give him? Do you think he values your efforts? Elihu rightly asserts that our righteousness or unrighteousness does not add to or subtract from God's glory. God's justice operates beyond human comprehension. Whether we do good or bad, it doesn't alter God's nature or his justice. This echoes Isaiah 55 verses 8 through 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. However, we shouldn't interpret this to mean that our actions are inconsequential. While they don't affect God's majesty, they do significantly impact our relationship with him and others. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 tells us, our righteousness is a gift from God through Christ and enables us to experience a deeper relationship with him and reflect his love to those around us. We must remember that God's justice is immeasurable by human standards. We should strive for righteousness, not to earn divine favor, but to grow closer to him, living as a testament to his love and mercy. And when we do, we honor God, fulfilling our purpose to glorify him in all we do.